Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're unboxing the Brother Image Center ADS 3000N. It's a high speed color and black and white desktop scanner with gigabit Ethernet networking and super speed USB 3.0 connectivity, and it retails for $699.99. Now, who would need a product like this when they can use their existing MFP or AIO that costs far less, you know, 100 bucks or so. Well, these products have much slower, low capacity document scanners. Some even have single pass duplex scanners, but the ADS3000N has an automatic document feeder that can scan up to 50 single and double sided documents in a single pass. It speeds to up to 50 pages a minute. So. It's a lot faster than a scanner on your run-of-the-mill MFP. MFPs and AIOs also have much larger footprints and they have a many distracting features, all kinds of uh, downloadable applications, touchscreen controls and whatnot, and they're really not suitable for what this product is designed for. It's a d digital on-ramp simply made for scanning. Also, these document feeders on your typical MFP are not designed for to be replaced, and you know the the document feeders are light duty. This this product you can flip it open and replace all of the feed rollers inside. Uh, then they last as, as long as 200,000 scans uh, before you need to replace them. So you can keep the document feeder in, in, in good shape over the long run. Well, that said, the, the, this product is most suitable for biz businesses that capture, manage, and process hard copy documents such as multi-page, simplex, and duplex documents, receipts, business cards, photographs, plastic ID cards, and long documents up to 196 inches long. It's also suitable for companies that have, mostly have printers and may need a high-speed digital on-ramp for scanning and routing of hard copy documents. It can even function as a copier using its scan to print feature. So if you, need, if you have a bunch of printers and you need some scanning, uh, you don't need to go out and buy an MFP, you can use this and it'll last you a long time and it's really good at scanning. Now this model only has three built-in shortcuts. I mean the 2500 we tested had a touchscreen control panel and 18, 20, 21, 28 shortcuts that you could select from the control panel. Uh, but that said, uh, the scan capabilities are NFC scanning, scan to web, scan to OCR, email, printers, network and FTP folders, and USB flash memory devices. There's a port on the side someplace, I think that's it down there. We'll see when we unbox it. It also has advanced scanning features such as multi-feed detection, background removal, black blank page removal, hole punch removal, de-skew support, advanced OCR, PDF editing, a two-in-one mode for capturing 11 by 17 documents. We'll see how that works. And includes a desktop document management program, uh, paper, pro paper port. And we've seen that on a bunch of brother uh, products. And finally, the, the Image Center has Active Directory Authentication, LDAP Address Lookup, Secure Function Lock, and it's compatible with Colfax VRS image processing and device management software that ensures optimal image quality settings for business applications. So, let's get to the unboxing and setup. The box is tiny. And so is the device. It's really little. We've tested several, several other image center scanners and they're very easy to install and this installation should be done in a few minutes. Uh, however, keep in mind that with this product, the software and networks installation and setup is the most time consuming part and we'll cover that in a separate video. And once we get it installed on a network, we'll run through uh, a couple examples on how to use the shortcuts and how to use the document feeder for uh, say business cards or whatnot. 
So let's get going on this. Okay, like the other product, brother products, I have a diagram here that shows you how to unpack and rebox the unit, uh, which is really useful for somebody like us who has to pack this thing up and send it back. But it's a nice, a nice little value add. Thank you, brother. Okay, you now this piece of cardboard is. tucked in here and then it's junk just fell out of the bottom not junk but stuff just fell out of the bottom here's the inside is the uh, scanner sheet for fragile originals you put the originals in this sheet and feed them through the document feeder that they're fragile or odd size or whatever and then here's the power cord and it has a brick there's a brick software CD and the manual fell out on the floor uh, inside this bag is a, set, a quick setup guide one page front and back that's nice and then a printed manual 32 pages Spanish and English and then a couple of warranty documents here one year warranty and warranty in Spanish and register your product on brother website okay so and there's another usb cable in here and this is the looks like part of the document feeder Goes in the top, snaps into the top. Okay, and then a foam block. Wrapped in a plastic bag. Okay. And you can see that it's really tiny. Really not much to it. There's your output tray. It's nice and compact. And right here's there's a sheet of paper. That's only that's as wide as an A4 sheet of paper. Um, with the quick setup guide, it just shows you what comes in the box, connect the document feeder, connect the power, extend the trays. And then and connect your machine and install the software. Wi-Fi, LAN, USB, mobile device and then using it as a as a standalone for Wi-Fi direct if you don't even have a network okay kind of a given and then it tells you briefly how to use it in four steps but there's a lot more to it than that it, basically if you're pulling scans from your PC it's straightforward just like any MFP.
Okay, we talked about it before. These rollers come out and pop out. And they're easy to replace. And they last 200,000 scans. There's a counter, we've seen it before, there's a counter in the uh, software that keeps track of how how many uh, scans you've made so you can change these rollers and and um, keep this thing basically running forever this green lever needs to hook up correctly once you get it in there. There's a roll, the uh, shaft has a flat spot in it. Oh boy. Tricky to get it back in, but now once you, once you do it, it comes to be a lot easier the next time. Alright, so there's two. A lot easier if you open the front, flip the flippers in the back, and then just put it in. Now it's all done. So basically, I, mean, I don't even need to plug it in at this point. But what you can see, we have controls are three shortcut buttons. I mean, it's, there's no shift key or anything to make it six. And then this is a. Uh, Scan to PC. So if you're if you're gonna if you're going to uh, send a scan to PC, probably just one PC. You press this button here. This press this button for scan to USB. And then this is cancel. This is the power button. And then there's a USB port over here on the side. And back here we have the uh, wired LAN port, USB port, power port, and the Kensington lock port. So, uh, in fact, I think this button right here, this, if you want to pull a scan to your PC, you would run over here using the software on your PC. You would run over here, put the document in the document feeder. Push this button to activate it. And run back to your PC and then click scan, and it'll feed out. And then you gotta, of course, you gotta pull out the. original tray and it just keeps going for longer originals and it's got all markings for cards for business cards uh, A4 letter I don't know what happens when you do really long originals looks like they're gonna go butt up the, against this and then go up like that but uh, it folds away nice nice and small and basically that's it and we got a lot of work ahead of us to uh, to get the software installed and then figure out how I mean there's only three buttons but you have to configure it these three buttons to do what you want it to do like send out scan to a printer like on a copier mode send it to a folder send it to a particular PC, send it to the cloud, stuff like that. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.